Hello, hello everybody. My name is Kitty Hazard and I am here with my wonderful life and game partner, Brian True. Yo and hello everybody. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Welcome to GWG Plays The Clock Tower. Now, we've been trying to do this game for a while here. We just had a lot of problems, mostly due to the fact this game is older than probably half the people watching this video. For those of you who have no idea what this game is, this is going to be a, a click adventure game. Uh, that was very much on the NES. Uh, yep. Sorry, the Super NES. And then we released in 1995. Windows yep. 1995. For Windows 95, everybody. And my husband gets it working like a boss. And the funny part about it is, it was never made for American release, so we have a English patch for it. Which is super exciting, so that way we can understand what the characters are saying. But we thought this would just be a great kick, because we've been playing a lot of horror games lately. So we figured, why not go with one of the first survival horror games that most of us heard about? Exactly. And also, coming up, they just released a spiritual successor. Quote, unquote. That is called... Night Cry? I believe it is what it's called. And Night I think, Cry, and everybody. I think that's what we're going to be playing tomorrow night. I think we are. Oh, bud. T. O. Oh, oh. W. W. E. Tower. E. E. Oh. No, not Clock Tower. I thought it was going to say Clock Towel. That would have been nice. No, it's Clock now, Tower. I will say that is a little excessive here with uh, <laughs> Dong for each one. But right? you know what? This it was, was the 90s. It was the 90s, and these games were still pretty new. They were they were very they were very new. They were they were trying to work the bugs out, everybody. So game start game? Starting game. And the rule for almost every single adventure game is save often. Uh, I don't we don't have that option. Oh boy. Jennifer and her friends were raised, raised in, in the, the granite orphanage. orphanage. I think that's orphanage. So, clearly it is. I was using the English. Mm. Suddenly, they were to become adopted. Aww. Daughters. Ooh. Suddenly, they were to become adopted daughters. Sometime in September. That's helpful. Well, at least we know it's not in October. There's like a bunch of different days you could pick from. Or Febtober. <laughs> or Febtober. Laura, hurry up! At this rate, it'll be dark before we reach the mansion. The the sound effects right there for the walking. <laughs> it sounds even it's it's better than aftermath. Miss Mary, yes. What kind of place are we going, going to, to be, be living, living in? in? Ha! ha! That's the fifth time you've asked. Don't worry, it's a lovely mansion. But if it's the fifth time I've asked, you clearly haven't answered the question. You'll see in, it in, in a moment. moment. Dot, dot, dot. Look. Look. Dot, yeah. dot, dot. Oh boy. Shot. Oh boy. They're going to zoom. I can feel it. I don't know if they have the technology to zoom back. <laughs> nope. Ooh. No zoom. Ah. Hey, I'll give them credit for even putting the wind sound effect in there. That's kind of nice. They tried. They really gave it their all. Ooh. Ah. Uh, honestly, this looks like a very this good This is a Super massive Nintendo house. Game. That's what a mansion is. Dummy. It really is. It's so huge, and this is only the foyer. If she's the one who pointed, why is she blonde now? As your teacher, I have to greet the owner. Everyone, stay, stay put. put. Okay. We'll be here. But no, seriously, why is she blonde now? I don't know. She wasn't blonde when she, she was pointing. She was pointed. gray. Grayish? Grayish brown? Grayish brown, I'd I say. guess they didn't have a lot of different graphical ways to work with it back then, so maybe they just went with what they had. Yeah, you never know. Hey, Anne. You're wondering what kind of man Mr. Burroughs is, right? Yeah. Is that all? I guess that's all. <laughs> hey, Anne. 
I was expecting more. You're wondering what kind of man Mr. Burroughs is, right? Is Mr. Burroughs... I the... guess that he's the one who's adopting us. I, I figured that much. I'm just curious about whether or not we actually ever get to see Mr. Burroughs. That's not where I clicked. We clicked on the table. <laughs> because if it goes square like that, we can interact with it. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, I guess I can't do anything with that, but... Somehow. Huh? This house is so big, it makes me uneasy. Oh. Somehow. And they didn't even tie in at all. I don't know. The English. I don't think I'm going to like it here, because I'm a red-headed stepchild. Eh? Lottie, don't be such a scaredy cat. Eh? Oh. It seems like he has That's the sound I think people make when I just see dot 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 as a response. I just imagine it to be like a monalgamation of like really bad consonants. Just okay, I cannot run yet. Amalgamation of sounds instead of words. We're gonna have so much fun as adopted daughters together, including that dumb redheaded stepboy. Or possibly a girl with a really bad haircut. Well, Just, she... They did live in an orphanage. The name was Lottie. So I have a feeling that it's probably a girl, somehow. They put a bowl. A it, it won't open. That sucks. It won't open. <laughs> I'm, I'm the designated narrator tonight, everyone. I see that. I will, uh, I will be assisting our wonderful director. Oh, I'm the director? You are the director of the story at the moment. I am the game manulator. You are the game manulator. Oh, Lord, look at how slow she is. Do you have anything useful to say? Hey, why don't you try to find our teacher? That's what I'm doing. I'm trying, you dumb red-headed bitch. You give redheads a bad name. I wonder what's happened to Miss Mary. What about you, Lottie? Do you have anything good to say? Miss Mary sure is taking her time. Why do you need some dot dot dot? Shall I take a look for her? Don't worry, I'll go. Okay, now I got to go through the door. Ooh. That's an odd transitional space. You... <gasps> that came from the main foyer. And now I can run. <gasps> Come on, everyone. Stop fooling around. <laughs> Hit the light switch. I didn't see that there was one there. I knew there was one on the other side. I try. Now I know <laughs> that door doesn't open on the other side. The others. Can we jump to our deaths? I don't think so. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure we can go to our death pretty easily. Outside seems to be the mansion's courtyard. <gasps> Not gonna lie, that might have gotten me. me back in the day. <laughs> back in the day it could have, but I thought Phantasmagoria was spooky, so... <laughs> it was spooky for its time. <laughs> now the only thing that's spooky is the voice acting and the well, FMV. I think that's how it works on most of those games. The power is off. So... I wonder where the light switch is. There it's it right is. behind you, you dumb cunt. Right? Oh, yeah. look! And God said, let there be light. Okay, now that was actually pretty creepy. It is odd. It's an odd occurrence. That doesn't happen very often. But I saw a box. There's a, there is a box. There's a key inside! <gasps> Pocketed the West Wing key. Ooh. Ah. I wonder if I can turn that off. 
Oh, good. Good. That's a creepy painting on the wall, Mr. Burroughs. I think it's broken. No, they probably just didn't screw the box cable. <laughs> I love your side effects. Thank you. I try. I try. I try to, to go for realistic, really. So, it really. appears that I can only run in certain rooms. Maybe in rooms that have enough space to run in? I wonder what time it is now. Why the fuck do you care? That is an unimportant thing. Is there a particular time I'm going to die? Don't look in the mirror. <laughs> Don't do it. Actually, I'm looking at that. Mm. Someone or something. That's, that's not helpful. At that's all. all. That's pretty much every object you can encounter. Someone or something. That is completely correct. <laughs> That is you know, literally the when, only things you can encounter in life. Someone or car, something. Somebody's going to say something. And I'm just going to be like, it's something or someone. Oh my god, that was the least helpful information I've ever gotten. <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't want to. Uh, pass. Right? The minute you hear music like that, it's like, no thank you. Pass. Wow. What the... Mr. Burroughs, I'm so sorry to find you so indisposed. <laughs> and with this weird invisible wall that you have. That's different. I think it's supposed to be steam. I don't want to, though. <laughs> I'm a grown-up. <laughs> I'm an adult. I can poo whenever I feel like it. Not just when I'm about to leave the house. Or go off on a mysterious quest to find my teacher. And everybody else who's disappeared. Oh yeah, also them, I guess. Okay. I think I know Pretty. what we're going to be getting. Oh, 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 it's Scissor Man! Ooh. Oh no, Anne! Yep, I would run. Run, bitch, run! And if horror movies have taught me anything, go to the bathroom. And I can you... hear him coming. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Are we gonna hide? Yes, we are. I locked the door. That's helpful. Oh, God, it's Susan! I wonder if that's Mr. Burroughs. Has anyone ever <clears throat> thought about that before? Well, I assume eventually we'll get to the end of this game. We just might not get there tonight for obvious reasons. <sighs> we made it, y'all. We made it with our first Scissor Man encounter. The light switch is broken. Good, because I clicked on the door. The light switch is broken. Yes, it's still broken. Let me out. <laughs> Thank you. No, we should go that way. Back towards our friend Anne, who was dying on the floor. I assume that the scissor man actually already cleaned up that mess. I wonder if this scissor man is our adopted father. I would assume not because... He somehow got through background screening to adopt children? Exactly. So I would assume maybe he's his mutated child. I don't know. I think Mr. Burroughs is the scissor man. I mean, if 80s horror movies have taught me anything... There's a small bottle of perfume. <laughs> it's the same kind Miss Mary wears. Got, got a, a bottle, bottle of, of perfume. perfume. Can I click on it? You can. It's there in your inventory. My inventory? Your inventory. If I know anything, I know that bird's going to be the death of me, so... It will, yes. Do not click on the bird. Ooh, another box! I assume it's the same box. Oh, yeah. You're probably right. And the picture bleeds. To click it. See what she says. <laughs> You know, you're not very useful as a main character right now. What's your name, Christine? I assume she is 
Uh, Anne? Oh no, Anne is the dead one. Who are we? Oh, come on, bit. So you can run, but you can't run to the door. Apparently. Nope, we're back in the same room again. Well done. I would think that the doors would take me other places if I go through them a different way. Nope. To our dead friend! Alright, we'll go to your dead friend. Or adopted daughter. This is... Oh, 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 Anne's gone. Oh, story advancing phone is ringing. Where is the phone? I'm not 100% positive. This isn't our house. We live here now. That's, I don't think that's where it is. Nope. Brian, you're going the wrong way. I'm pretty sure. The phone would be in the room. You can hear it ringing in. Come on now. No. <laughs> the phone. But why would I want to answer the phone in a house Go. like that? That just sounds like a bad idea. It's the plot. Oh, good. Now you missed it. Oh, good. It's back. Thank goodness. Otherwise, we'd never advance in the plot at all. Alright, well, I don't see a phone. Well, let's keep walking. Which door, then? The red one. Oh, not the red one. We gotta find the phone. Otherwise, we'll never get out of here. It won't open. Maybe it's up the stairs. Maybe. Oh, lady, you gotta get some speed. It's not on that table. So I guess it has to be upstairs, right? It has to be, in theory. This is why adventure games didn't transition well to consoles. Because <laughs> I'm going to kill myself? I literally want my character to throw herself off of that landing. Not the door, babe. Keep right on going around. Keep going around. I can't. Where is the damn phone? I'll try this door. Nope. It's locked. I don't think so. Nope. It's in this room somewhere. We gotta just find it. Maybe it's in that big door. I know we went in that door. We didn't go in that one. No, we have not gone in that. But I don't think any door will lead us to it. Because it has to be in that room. Yeah, no. It's in that room. Somewhere well, there. This is definitely before the Click on the table comes. when you first walk in. Maybe we just can't see it. Let me just check to see if it's on the other side of the stairs. So that way I don't have to try to climb them again. Good idea. Nope. Bone. Boned. Oh, lady. Come on now. How old are you? You don't know even know how to go down the stairs on your own? Apparently not. <laughs> She's just walking back and forth. Well, that's probably my fault, apparently, but... What are stairs? Now, what do they do? We don't want to be too rough on a game that was made a long time ago, but... I'm not trying to be. Reason. I mean, obviously they did not optimize the controls for PC usage. They did not. This was for Windows 95. Go to that, yeah, go to that over there. Because maybe we're just overthinking this. Maybe we just don't see anything there. I don't know. It's a weird circumstance to be in trying to find somebody else's phone. 
Okay, that table's not even selectable. Okay, then I think maybe was there another one? Maybe that one? Is it the paintings? Can we come forward towards the screen? Only when there's an item there that we need. How are we supposed to find this dang phone? I'm just going to go in the big red door. I think we missed the phone call. Hopefully they have an answering machine. Those existed back then. They did. Oh good, some light. You would think the kitchen would have a phone. You would think that's where a phone would be, but no. It's a calendar. Today's date has been marked. <gasps> With what? Probably as like a like a circle or something, like ooh woo, 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 woo. my my new rape daughters are here. Many bottles of drinks are lined up. <laughs> Let's check Mr. Burroughs. You're plying me with so much alcohol. I'm clearly just a poor teenage girl. There's something shiny in the back. Namely, Scissorman. <laughs> nope. Just flies. Ew. Run. Run, bitch, run. <laughs> Oh, now she's walking. Oh, God. This is awful. I can't. Well, this is one of the first real survival horror games. It is. It has its, it has mm. its time. And I really can't blame it for limitations of hardware. Nope, we sure can't. Oh, here we are. This is the barn area. I thought this was a mansion. Get in the car and go. That's my plan. Get up and drive. The ignition key is missing. So just lock the doors and stay in there. Just stay there where no one can kill you. Maybe there's something up here. What's that big thing? Actually, no, that's... Lady. Ugh. God, I hate you. You, madam, are no Lara Croft. No, she is not. Are you understanding my command? There's some sort of key! Oh my goodness! Let's go! Let's go quickly! We win! <laughs> now, if that's how it worked, that would be awesome. We win! Woohoo! Now use it. Seriously. Ugh. Click it. I could escape in this car. Yeah, do that. But, but oh, <clears throat> everyone else is. Everyone else is already dead. Yep. Everyone else is dead. Are you really that stupid? Just fucking leave and call the cops from the next phone you get to. Because apparently we couldn't find that. Nothing else. You, lady, are so dumb. I can't even. I cannot deal. Why wouldn't you just leave to where you know you can survive and then call for help? I guess if they did that, there'd be no such thing as a horror movie. Why don't we just get in the running car? I no, love that No, let's go hide behind the chainsaws. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. Oh, good. The phone is ringing again. And I can't find it. Where is this phone? I don't know, but I'm going in here. <sighs> this is going to drive me bonkers. Really, it will. It's going to drive me crazy. Wanna... I don't know what to do. I want to know what's in here. Let's do it. I mean, there's all those windows. Maybe it's going to get me outside. Nope, she doesn't know that you want her to do anything. <laughs> uh, the door is blocked from the other side. Okay, well that at least makes sense. 
<laughs> oh, good. A red room of death and pain. Like Jane Eyre. Have we found the phone? Well, it's not ringing anymore. Because we're in the other rooms. She doesn't feel like running right now. I can tell that. Or going to the door you selected. I don't understand why she has to walk there. I do not know, sir. Looks like a lot of old magazines. Skin mags. Maternity magazines? What? There are technical books mixed in here. Wow. Maybe they didn't understand how maternity works. A book filled with meaningless symbols. Maybe you just don't speak that language. I don't know. She was raised by the orphanage, though. How good could their education system really be? I don't think I clicked on the door, but okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I clicked on the other books. You did. That is what happened, sir. That is what happened. I mean, this house seems pretty huge. It <laughs> is. <laughs> seems to be locked. Now, I know I found a key earlier, but it's not showing in my inventory. But it no. does say we pocketed it. It did say that. So, I guess it's something that's going to be used for later. Well, we used it to lock the bathroom door, I think. That could be it. Oh, good. Another red bathroom. A red bathroom of pain. Without a toilet. Uh-uh. No toilet for you. So it's like the Brady house. Mm-hmm. Okay. More red rooms of pain. I feel like there's a, a bit of a, a theme happening here. She just never does what we tell her to do. So she's like a real woman. Oh, but I'm sleeping on the couch tonight. I'm okay with that. It was worth it. What the hell? Oh, look. A rubble room. Every mansion needs a rubble room. Apparently so. <laughs> to where you can put all your miscellaneous rocks. I mean, I know that Bill Gates must at least have 12 rubble rooms. I think you're right. Yeah. Good old rubble rooms. They're good for... Rubble? Rubble. And rebel rousing. I see what you did there with the rebel rousing. Yeah, thank you. This is some good wordplay. <laughs> Puns. Puns. I see more some... rubble. Feels like feel, feels like more more rubble. A lot more of it. <sighs> this bitch. We've only gotten one instance of scissorman. Lady, can you please? It's just a wooden board. You're not helping yourself. Click on the hole, maybe. The first floor can be seen through the gap. Oh, you had to see the hole first? You had to really examine it? Like a virgin on prom night. But um, oh, look. A statue that seems so important. What is that thing? Ryan, click on the thing. Blue? Blue? The, wall the wall's only, only been repainted repaint in this, this spot. spot. Maybe there's a door behind it. Blue? The wall's only been repainted in this spot. Okay, how about a creepy statue? Blue? Okay. Nothing. Nothing. She just goes. Blah, 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 blah. I think we are missing the plot point back in that other room, and we're not going to advance until we find the phone. But no one listens to me. I listen to you. It's just that I can't find the phone. Well, I don't think that we did a lot. There's some rope here. Got a rope. Oh, good. We needed that. I 
could help with the killing of the sister. Oh. Oh, oh my god, I was so frightened. I was a little paranoid when the box moved. No, check on him. I I'm turning on the light. Make sure the kitty's okay. The light switch is broken. I don't think we can check on the kitty cat. I figured it's worth the shot. I clicked on him. I know, you did. We'll see if anything comes of it. Nope, she's just standing there. Like a buffoon. That's strange. This part of the wall is a different color. Move the boxes. Click on the handle. Yeah, no, no, oh, no. The handle, babe. You gotta click on the handle. You're not clicking on the handle. I don't think, I think this is gonna do something. Here we go. Get to move it. Okay. And then click on the wall. This wall is cracked. Pretty much. It's been replastered for some reason. The wall's cracked and looks ready to collapse. But Can we click on that plank of wood or something? And that's what we've been looking for. Oop, yeah, there you go. <coughs> Got some puzzle solving going on. Ooh. Hey, lady! Nope, she's gonna put it back, I guess. Nope, she. There's a room on the other side. That's usually what happens between walls. Hey, lady! <laughs> Go through the door. Dumb bitch. Oh, good. A dead body. Oh, a piece of paper, though. I yeah. wonder how long it's been unused for. I'd be more concerned. The air is stuffy and heavy. I'd be more concerned. Seems to be a medical record. Two newborn babies are patients listed. Okay. Click it again. See if anything more info seems to be okay. No, sorry. Okay. My bad. Click on the other piece of paper. Well, we're getting somewhere. We're, I don't know where we're, we're getting. We're figuring out some mysteries. Looks like a medical record. But the patient's name is Mary Burroughs. That's the name of the master of the house. It, it is. His name but is Mary. Mary oh. Burroughs. A husband. I told you he was Scissorman. No. The teacher who brought you here is named Mary. A black medical bag. A name is embroidered on the inside. Walter Simpson. Walter Simpson? Fa father? Okay, that's different. We didn't know that previously, I guess. I didn't know you had a name. Uh, the corpse is holding a piece of paper. It's a memo. You mean a note? Father. 11-10-1986. Dr. Walter Simpson. Father? It's, I've been trapped for three days. I'm sure I don't have long left. I'm writing this note to tell my story before the end. I have brought evil into the world in the form of those twins. I was called to the mansion to aid the wife in giving birth. The infants are not normal. They are devil spawn. Ooh. A fact demonstrated by one biting my right hand off moments after being born. Fortunately, their bodily functions are incomplete, and they shouldn't be able to live for more than three days. However, if they still live, then I beg you to destroy them. I fear that some great calamity will occur if they are allowed to continue living. It is hard for me to breathe. The air in this room is getting thin. The evil ones sleep in the cradle under the star. Jennifer. 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 The evil ones sleep in the cradle under the star, baby. Do they mean stare? Or do they see... Maybe it's a star mobile? Mobile? You know, those little, like, diddly bops that go around babies? Maybe. Jennifer. I mean, I'll tell you, they got me a little intrigued. 
I don't know about the devil's bod bit, though. Well, you know, this was the era of, like, Michael Myers and... Um... Jason Voorhees. Hey, lady! I guess that door won't open, obviously. I so. guess we have to go around. Well, no, that makes sense. I mean, he was trapped in that room. He was. But you'd think after he's dead, they might, you know, like, just that leave it. May they might just leave the door locked because they plastered over it. Maybe. All right, we got some mystery going. Ooh, but there's, there's a box thing, maybe, on top of the thing. No? No, it doesn't look like... Oops, there's, there's there. some thing. Oh, oh no! It's Scissorman! Now, do we want to die here, or...? No, go, run! It's Scissorman, baby! It's Scissorman! I want to see if he comes out. I'm uh, pretty sure he's gonna come. He followed us into the bathroom that time. Nowhere else for me to go there? I guess not. Go down the stairs. Quick. Are you kidding? Her going downstairs is the worst thing you can do. I get to the third one before I get shanked. Pretty sure I wanted to go that way. To the bathroom? Oh no, the rubble room. That's helpful. He's still after us. The music tells us this. At least that's what I think it means. I'm pretty sure. Run! He's coming to get us! Yes, he is. We haven't been here yet. We have not. Ooh, the nursery. I feel like someone is watching me. Maybe this the thing in the no. I'm trying to get away from Scissorman because the noise is still going. I know, but I feel like that's important, and we're never gonna find it again. I was trying to get to the bathroom. I know it has a lock on the door. Nope. Now we're just in the butcher room where things are butchered. And there are cages. He's coming. Oh, he's definitely coming. I can hear him scissoring. Scissoring. With his manny. <laughs> he's scissoring. I think I'm going the right way because I'm in the red hallway. And now I'm... Run, Jennifer. Your father lives there now. What? At least we know her name's Jennifer now. Oh, now we're in some green. This is the original room with the phone. Well, it's definitely not ringing now. It's locked! Back towards Sizzamon! Go to the stairs, honey. There Figure you your life out. Figure your life out, Jennifer Simpson. I kind of wish now her name was like Lisa or Marge. Right? <coughs> Alright, we can do this. Sizzamon is still coming, but it's okay. Go back the way we came. Uh, this way? No, the way we came in. Oh, crap. Crap. Apparently, Ugh. you cannot change directions if you misclick. Go back. Lord Jesus. You know, for a little dude, he moves really fast. Oh, sort of. Not really. He hasn't even caught up close to us yet. Bathroom. Are you a bathroom? Sizzamon is coming. Yep. 
Lock it. I locked the door. Ugh. Good. Whew. We made it, guys. We made it. Good to know he gives up that quick, too. I mean, he doesn't even stay by the door. He it. doesn't. The light switch is broken. <laughs> Called it. I knew that was gonna... I don't like you, Jennifer. Jennifer, you're kind of a butt. Let's go back to the room. See if we can find the phone now. Let's see if the phone's ringing again. Yep, sure is. Where the hell is the phone? Who thinks that they would make it this hard to find the phone? You know, after just being chased by a homicidal midget, you would think that you'd move a little eh. faster. Where is this phone? I don't even care. Leave a message after the beep. But it could be, I don't know, our teacher or something. I'm pretty sure our teacher's in on it. <sighs> Maybe. I mean, her name did match. It was Mary. Yeah. But Mary's a pretty common name. Yeah, but in horror movies, people you don't see people with the same name. Miss Mary. They didn't call her a last name, so she could be Mary Simpson with the devil twins. Go back to the, uh, if we can find it, go back to the nursery. See if we can get some good info. Honestly, that's a good idea, but I figured maybe we'd stop by and get a bite to eat. I think you, I think you are onto something, Brian. I think you're onto something. There's a ham inside. <laughs> Got the ham. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. If this is going to turn into one of those Sierra Logic puzzles where I have to throw the ham at Scissorman. Probably. Gonna he's going to slip on the ham and he's going to kill himself. It's going to be a Yeti thing, isn't it? It is. The pie and the Yeti. Mm. Gas bottles for a stove are lined up. Are you a phone? It's an old iron frying pan. Don't you think that you might want to take some of these things as, you know, weapons? Nope. To fight the homicidal midget that is chasing you? Apparently not important to her. But guys, I think we've got just about as much mystery as we can take for one night. Now, Clock Tower. Yeah, you're Where's right. the phone, guys? So, I don't know. If someone knows where the phone is, please tell us. And if you want us to give us a, give this game another round, let us know. I mean, I'll tell you right now. Definitely comment. I don't know if I want to play this game again, but I'm kind of intrigued. Because it's pretty frustrating. I'm, I'm intrigued, but I want to find the bloody phone. Exactly. And most of the games we play, we really don't do walkthroughs before we play a game. Of course not, because that's part of the fun. You know, you want to figure it out yourself. But, but where is the phone? And I'm really confused by that, and I'm also wondering why there is no save feature. I mean, this game was released for PC. Maybe go the other way? But Go the other way? Hold on. Is there a continue? Okay. Oh. Okay. That means it took from the last room we went into. Okay. That so works. apparently there is a save feature. It's just not one where you actually click save. Well, guys, thanks for sticking in there with us. We so appreciate you guys tuning in. We love you all so very much. Please let us know if you want us to continue playing Clock Tower. We have Night Cry or whatever it is, the spiritual successor to Clock Tower up next, I believe. And then after that, it's your guys', it's all up to you guys. We'll follow your lead. Um, so please give us a, a, a suggestion in the comments if you guys have anything that you'd like to see us play. We always love to hear from you, so please don't hesitate to questions, comments, concerns, anything you want in the comments. Please like and subscribe if you're new. Please check us out on social media. We have Twitter. We have Instagram. We have Facebook, all under GWG Studios. And please check out our website, gwgstudios.com. We have our blogosphere there, where some really talented authors are giving you their life opinions, lessons, 
and general bitchiness. Pretty much whatever makes them geek out and whatever pisses them off. So please definitely check that out too. We love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Clock Tower, and we'll see you soon. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks again for tuning in, and bye! Bye!